Hey guys, this is like my third video on the umpiring in Vegas. And the reason of that, I was actually questioned on this. And the reason that I'm putting a lot of these videos out is because of the money that we spend in these tournaments, uh, which is a lot. And for one, we only get one umpire all the way till the championship day, which is on Sunday or Saturday, which was what we were on. And I think that's a disservice to us seniors out there, um, especially with the money that we're actually paying for this. Now I'm gonna put out th three more videos on a lot of the umpiring that was done out there. On this next clip, um, and, and <laughs> on this next clip, um, Wendell Ricard is batting. And I, I, I don't care about the outcome, I mean, of this one because, uh, because we lost this game, but, uh, but <laughs> this guy's window fucking record. If he wants to take as many swings as he wants to at the plate, let him do it. And and I guess these guys don't know who he is. But on this, actually, at bat, it wasn't Wendell's fault. And they actually had a meeting out on the mound because with the umpires because, for one, this umpire said that he called the first pitch a strike. They actually struck window out. On uh, which he should have had an extra courtesy foul, but he didn't get it. So they struck him out and said that the first pitch was a strike. But if you look at the video, it wasn't a strike. He actually said short, and he held his hand up, his right hand up, and, and went like by that much. And it was. I looked at the video, and I was actually playing against us. So I actually seen the pitch. First one was a ball. Not a strike like he said. But then he talked to the umpire, and the umpire called, no, he's out. Turn around and call him out. But, okay, I don't give a shit. I really don't. It's window fucking Ricard. <laughs> if he wants to take his, in my opinion, if he wants to take as many foul, <laughs> foul balls as you want, let him do it. Um, I'm just joking about that. But just to give you a prime example, and I know, guys, you're going to say, well, this is a rule. The, 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 like the two days before that, when they started on Thursday, Hank Garris, Hank Garris was called out for erasing the chalk line at the front of the batter's box. And if you look it up, it's a rule. You cannot erase the chalk line on the front of a batter's box. And they called Hank Garris out. Now, there, there you go. I mean, it's just how come to umpires that really don't know all the rules, they know the little ticky-tack rules? You know, like then this next clip after this one. Uh, the first video, window, you did not strike out. The umpire made a mistake, like a lot of them did in Vegas. But on this next one, um, we had bases loaded when one of our hitters comes up and he hits a home run to right field. The guy thought he could make a play on it. went up and it actually tipped. I thought it tipped his glove because it actually did sound like it tipped his glove. Now, the guys on the other team, we were actually, on our team, we were actually arguing the rule that he said, the umpire. We are arguing with the umpire because the umpire said that it did tip his glove, but since his glove was over the fence, it was a home run, not a four-base error. Well, guys, again, in this tournament, which I think we, we probably played a total of six games in, this, in the, major, um, the major plus 55s. I bet we called the umpire out every game on calls, and then we had to get tournament director out there to actually clarify the call. Again, guys, why don't these umpires know the rules and they have to get the tournament director over there to actually clarify the rules? And we're paying a lot of money for this. And if you see in this clip, you can actually see that um, the, uh, the umpire made a, the, the wrong call. Because it doesn't matter if he tipped it or not. It doesn't matter if he tipped it and it went, he had his hand over the fence. It doesn't matter. It's still a four-base error. Um, and that's another one that I wanted to show you guys. And I threw this clip in there because I've had it for a while, probably around four years. I've had this. I downloaded it years ago. And this is an SPA where... The umpires, in my opinion, are just being total assholes at this tournament. And this was a tournament, I think it was in Waco or Dallas, 
and it was an SPA tournament. And as you can see, I'm not going to actually comment, but they were so, so adamant. And this is probably the – this is a championship game too. They were so adamant about players not getting out of the dugout and like on the on-deck circle that you cannot even stick your foot out of the uh, dugout or they were on you. I mean, they were on you. And the sad part about it was that little tournament director guy was doing all the dirty work while the tournament directors were sitting there in their cart and telling them what to do. And then when he'd go do it, the motherfuckers would turn their head like it wasn't them that was telling them. And I just so happened to have my camera and I started videotaping this shit. But this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's not supposed to be about the umpires. And, and I had a guy actually message me and say I was going about this all wrong, that if I wanted rules changed, I, don't, I, I didn't want rules changed. I don't want rules changed. I want there to be, for the money that we pay for these big tournaments, I want to have quality umpires that know the rules. You know, the, and, and wait till you see my pitching umpire, my, my pitching rule about the pitchers and what they get away with. It's almost like we're playing U-Trip, guys. And I'm going to actually call out a lot of the umpires and the tournament directors on this one because the pitching is, has gotten way out of hand. And a lot of these umpires really don't know the rules because they're U-Trippers that they get and they come over and they're trying to do an SP, uh, uh, SSUSA SPA or a ASA rules. And they really don't know them. They don't study them. Like I said, who's who's going to – who teaches these people? Or do they even got to pass a test or they just get hired? It's just the quality of umpires. And, guys, again, I'm not picking out every umpire. There are, there are some damn good umpires, and I've actually talked about them and I've taken pictures with them at tournaments that do know the rules and are badass. I'm not talking about you. Turn this fucking video off. Turn all these videos off. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the guys that go out there to collect the paycheck and really don't give a shit about the players. That's what I'm talking about. I've got a couple more videos after this. My pitching video is probably going to be the longest. Uh, I've got it out of a box, out of the box video coming up, and then I got the pitching video and I'm done with it. I'm not going to talk about it no more. Thanks, guys.
did, did you see him hit, hit the glove or hit it? What's, what's your call? Was that the end of the ask you Hey, uh, well, I have to call right now. Right. 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 Because the fielder reaches all the way out. Hey, sir. 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 Hey,
Sir, we're just giving you a hug. It's fine, right? <laughs> a good, in a good way, though. <laughs> Y'all, you know how you do it. Heck yeah. Oh.